Christmas. So today we've got like a proper engineering kind of a job, um, which should be interesting, as I'm not an engineer. Uh, I just saw Muppet on the internet. Uh, what we need to do, my dad's doing a project, he's making a desk, and we need something a bit like a window clamp to hold everything together. And we don't have a window clamp, so we're going to make one. Um, and what we're going to need to do is um, have two pieces of threaded rod. So I've got some old rod, uh, which I'll show you. It's actually a, a, a piece of um, electric fence holder stuff from the days when we used to have some animals. So we're going to repurpose that and um, use that for our um, sash clamp. So we need to cut this to size and then cut a thread on the end using a tap and die set. Um, I'll show you the tap and die set, the sort of thing that we're going to be using. Now the last one that I used was an AF and we want this to be metric. So we've got um, a metric tap and die set there. This one's slightly different in that, um, firstly the handle is missing, because this is my dad's set, um, but they are hexagonal dies, and so what I can actually do is get a socket on those or a spanner um, and do it that way, uh, as soon as we're missing the handle. So actually that's quite a good design because you can get some leverage on it then. Right, let's get cracking. done a wee point on the edge it's not on the end it's not a pointy point it's a blunt ended point because it's a root point um, and that's just to help get the tap on the die rather on and the difficulty is just getting it started okay a bit of push Socket to hold it reasonably flat. So I've reached the limit of what I can do with the socket. Um, so now we carry on with the spanner, which is the nice thing about these ones because actually you can get a lot more leverage on than you could do easily with the handle that comes in the kit. So I'm quite liking this because we're taking quite a lot of material off of here. So it is a reasonably harsh cut. We had a debate about whether to use oil on this or not. My inclination is not. My dad's was to use it. So, uh, yeah, if you've got any proper engineers watching, I'd be interested to hear your opinions and why you would need oil. Because um, it's not getting terribly hot. It's not like a lathe cut. And there you go. You see how we're getting the thread now. Nicely cut onto there. Now I've got my little assistant on the job as well, Lizzie, who's going to do a bit of turning for me as well. Go on then. Go, go, go. Other way, other way, other way. Oh, other way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> oh great, now it's going off. And it fell off. Here you go. And that's probably enough thread now. So what we do now is twist it backwards just to undo it. De-thread it and hopefully take any of the burrs off as well that we've got. <coughs> and that's really hot. And try not to burn yourself. Always a good idea. Looking for a glove somewhere. Don't think we've got any. Ouch. He's up. His granddad took them all. Probably, yeah. Knowing him. He's at uh Right, find a glove, we'll find a glove. Ah, here we have a glove. Make sure you have a glove first. Yeah, planning preparation. 
Leave the beast wood alone. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's Mr. Smack. I have to take a trip to Mottyland. Right. Let's see if it actually fits a nut. That's the wrong sort of nut. Pass one of those off from over there. So that's a different thread pitch. In fact, it might even be an AF nut. I was trying a few different things last night. There we go. With an M10 nut. So we just need to do the other end, and uh, then hopefully it's more or less ready for use. It's a really warm day outside, so we just had a bit of a bubblegum lollipop. Finish it, Walter. <laughs> okay, there we go. Two finished threaded bolt, threaded jobby watsits to try and make a clamp up. Why not lightsabers? Complete with, complete with nuts on the end. Easy peasies. Very easy. And here's the finished article. Button. In use. <laughs>